What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Joe and I'm joined by my sister Phoebe. Hey guys. And we've actually done a video like this before. I think it was... Oh, it must have been just under a year ago. And it was uh, Would You Rather with my sister using the Wealthy Warus app. But I thought since, you know, my channel has grown by about, I don't know, 30 subs since then. And I've become a lot more confident in front of the camera. I'm pretty sure you have. Yeah. She's become a lot more confident in front of the camera. So I thought, why don't we do it again and hopefully make it a bit more interesting. Like, talk more. You know, have more of a laugh. Mr. Serious, Mrs. Serious, you're a female. Thanks. <laughs> okay, but we're going to be using the Wealthy Walrus app on my phone, and there's going to be a certain amount of questions. Basically, would you rather for a certain amount of money? So, what I'm going to do is, before we actually start with the questions, if you don't remember the rules, I will read them out because I can't remember the rules, so this is just for my benefit. So, for any challenge that takes a year or less to complete, all the money will be rewarded as soon as the required task is complete. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then for any challenge that takes more than a year, all the money will be rewarded to you as soon as you accept the challenge. So if it's more than a year, yeah. you get the money straight away, as soon as you say yes. All earnings are 100% tax free. We all like to hear a bit of tax free, don't we? You don't even know what tax <laughs> is, so it's okay. Um, and then there's no cheating. I'm not sure how you can cheat, but okay. So, are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Let's get on with the first question. Right, so the first question is for four million dollars. We'll say pounds, because we're in the UK. So it's a four million pound, right? Mm -hmm. Would you live forever? Yeah. Wait, hold on a minute. Oh yeah, because it takes more than a year, so you'd get the four million straight away. So would you live forever for four million? Yeah. So you'd have to watch all of your loved ones, your family, your friends die. And you'd yeah. only get four million, which wouldn't even last you forever. Yeah. You would? Yeah. Okay. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to live forever. I wouldn't like to see my family, my kids, my grandkids, my great grandkids. I wouldn't want to see them die. That would just be really depressing. And then by the time you get to your great grandkids, your four million's gone. Like, you'd spend all your four million, so I wouldn't, to be honest with you. So, 51% said yes, they would. So, 51% agree with you, 49% agree with me. That's, uh, that's, that, I'd say that's fairly even, but anyway, we'll move on to the next question. Okay, so the next question is for 50 million pounds. Don't look at the question, because I'm going to read the question out to you. Okay. There's no point in you looking, because then you can think of an answer while I'm reading it. Yeah, okay, carry on. That's cheating. Carry on. Walrus does not like that. Carry on. Okay, so this is for £50 million, pound, all right? Would you time travel to the year 2115 and live out your life there? No. So you wouldn't... So how long's 2115? That's 99 years away. So would you travel 99 years into the future and have £50 million? Pound? No. You wouldn't? Oh, that's difficult. I, I, that's quite difficult because obviously in 99 years time, your parents and your grandparents and brothers or sisters aren't going to be alive in 99 years time. So you're going to have no family at all. I mean, you're not going to have any kids of your own because obviously you've time travelled there. I mean, if you've got any brothers and sisters, they might have kids, but then you've got to track them down. But then again, you have got 50 mil. I, pr I, I don't know. I would. You know what? I would travel to the year 2151 for 50 mil. 51? 2115. I would travel to the year 2115 and have 15 mil. Thank you for correcting me. I never knew I said that. So I would, and again, 51% said yes, 49% said no. What do you think of that? More people agree with me. I don't care, to be honest. She doesn't care, so we're just gonna, we, we're gonna move on, okay? Next question is, for only $50,000 pounds, <laughs> only for 50,000 pounds, right? Would you go missing for two weeks and you can't tell a soul? So, 
you'd get so you would get the 50 grand after the two weeks so you wouldn't have the money until the two weeks of you going missing is over mm -hmm. you would where would you go so you've got to go missing what where would you go how would you go missing what would you do i don't know you don't know where you'd go so someone says i'll give you 50 grand if you go missing for two weeks you say yes and then you stood there thinking where the hell can i go i'll just because you can't go abroad because you've got no money okay. you can't exactly hide around your hometown because that's just not going to work. It might. What, for two weeks? Where are you going to go? You're just going to go uptown and be like, I'm homeless and disguise yourself. <laughs> yeah. How are you going to disguise yourself? Put a wig on. So you're going to put a wig on, you know, get a fake beard go in, nice little moustache. Okay. So you would. For fit, I... Um... I would go. I would agree with you. I would go missing for two weeks. Because no one would know I'm missing. Oh, well done. Because I spend the entirety of my life in this room. So I'm pretty much okay, to be honest with you. So that would be an easy two weeks for me. I'd just stay up here and, and everyone would be like, hmm, where's Joe gone? And I'd be here, chilling, gaming, being like, yeah. I'm going to get 50 grand after this. This is awesome. Okay, so we both would. 48% said yes. 52% said no. That's actually quite interesting. Okay. Right. I think this is question four. What question is this? Stop looking at my phone, man. Come on. Right. So for £8 million, is it for £8 million, would you press a button that blows up an uninhabited planet outside of our solar system? So I think when it... Right, I'm going to have to explain this to you because you're only 13, okay? So the planets that are in our solar system is obviously Mercury, Venus, Earth, yeah, Mars, Uranus. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Pluto was a planet, but it's not anymore. Yeah, yeah. I think it is. I think they've now made it a planet again. I'm pretty sure they've made it a planet again. I don't know why. NASA needs to make their mind upon this kind of stuff. But So that's any planet not including the ones in our solar system. And it's uninhabited, so there's no life. It's basically like the moon. Even though people think there are, like, things in the centre of the moon. So would you, for 8 mil, would you blow up an uninhabited planet outside of your solar system? Or our solar system? Yeah. You would? I would as well. I don't see any harm in it. It's 8 mil in your pocket. Or in your bank. 8 mil ain't really going to fit in your pocket. Unless you've got massive pockets. I don't know. But 74% said yes. 26% said no. That's actually quite easy, to be honest with you. Easy 8 mil, really. Right, question number 5. For £75,000, would you only eat food from Subway for the next 5 years? Yeah. You would? I love Subway. I wouldn't. I would not at all. So you can only eat food from Subway for the next 5 years? Yeah, because I love Subway. You're going to be fat, you're going to be really unhealthy, and I'm going to miss Domino's and Pizza Hut. And McDonald's. You can't eat any of that. So? I'm saying no to that. I don't care about the 75 grand. I'm saying no. 57% said no. 43% said yes. I have the majority in that. How do you feel? Mrs. Subway. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Right. For £200,000, would you chop off seven random ponytails at a crowded movie theatre? For how much? 200 grand. So would you go to the cinema and then chop off seven ponytails from people in the, in the um, seats? So you'd have to go in behind them with a pair of scissors and chop their ponytails off. Would you do that for 200 grand? You wouldn't! No. Why? That's just stupid. That would be hilarious though. Not only would that be an adventure to remember, but you get 200 grand for it. Mm -mm. I would. That would be bloody hilarious. Jesus, 70% said yes. <laughs> That's mad. That's actually the funniest question we've ever had so far. 
Okay. For two million pounds, right? Mm -hmm. Would you blindfold yourself, place your finger on a spinning globe, and move wherever it touches for five years? If you choose the ocean, you can go again. No. You wouldn't. No, because it can land on like one. That is very true. I never thought of that. But it's two mil. That's true, I would not want to land in Afghanistan, or Iraq, or Syria. That's ISIS, mate, that's ISIS territory. I'm not, I'm not doing that. 61% said they would? Okay, them guys are crazy. you got to be, look apparently there's 196 different countries on Earth. You've got to be bloody lucky to get somewhere like Florida, where it's nice. Jesus. Okay. For one million pound, would you wake up? Tomorrow, one foot taller. How tall would I be though? So, how tall are you now? Like, five foot three. You are not five foot three? Yes, I am. So where do you even go five foot three? I'm the same height as mum. Oh yeah, I forgot mum's a midget. <laughs> you're kind. So you're the same height, so you're five three. Mm -hmm. So you would wake up tomorrow, six foot three. Which is like this, t well, think of how tall I am, I'm, I'm about 5'10", so you would be 5 inches taller than me, so you'd be tall, you'd be like freakishly tall for a 13 year old girl, people would look at you and they'd be like, yo, she is freakishly tall for a 13 year old girl, but you'd get a million for it. No. I don't think I would either, I don't think I'd like, actually no, bollocks, I will. I'd like to be 6'10". That is quite tall though. Yeah. Because I'm quite short. Compared to other people, when I stand next to them, they're taller than me and I don't like it. I'm a midget, mate. Yeah. I'm the tallest one in this family, that says a lot. <laughs> okay, that says something. Okay? So I would, okay? 73% said they would. And I'd get a million pounds in my pocket. Yeah. Win-win to me. This is all dwarfs. They're so win-win. You can't argue with that. All right then, this one's hilarious. I've literally just read it. Right, for 200,000 pounds, right? Would you hang around a playground and convince 105 year olds that Santa doesn't exist? Over how much? Uh, 200 grand. And you've got to, right, the only, right, this is my only issue with this question, right? With someone my age, if a, if a parent or people see me hanging around a playground, Talking to a load of five-year-old kids, they're gonna get some. They're gonna think something's wrong with me, okay? So, but then again, convincing a hundred five-year-olds that Santa doesn't exist is gonna be hilarious. So I can always tell the parents, listen, to save you the trouble of convincing your child or letting your child find out the hard way that Santa doesn't exist, I will tell them for you, because at the end of it, I get two hundred grand. Would you? Yeah. you? We would, we both would, man. We're savages. 54% said they would. Wow. You savage beast you are, man. So are you. Yeah, that's true. Okay. I hiccup. For a million pounds, would you live inside a movie theatre and only eat what they serve for one year? No. Yes. Popcorn, hot dogs, sweets, pick and mix. And you watch every movie ever in that year, yeah. and you get a mil. I would easily. Yeah. That'd be like the best year. You get to see every film that comes out, and you get the nicest food. The cinema we've got, their hot dogs are fucking awesome. I'd love that. I'm saying yes. Would you say yes? You're saying yes? Yeah. All right. 56% said they would. Smart people. For £9 million. Would you kidnap a child in a third world country and raise it as your own? No. How would you get away with kidnapping though? How are you gonna bring it back to your country? And I love the fact it comes up right, it comes up with a little fun fact in the corner. I love the fact it said Angelina Jolie has adopted children from Cam Camod Camodia? Is that supposed to say Cambodia? Cambodia. Cambodia, Ethiopia and Vietnam. She, yet she adopted. She didn't kidnap the poor <laughs> bastards. She adopted them. I don't know how you're going to get that child through customs. Jack it up. So you go to a third world country, you see a little kid on the, on, on the street, and you say, listen, 
I've got a million, okay? Come home with me. I will raise you and give you a good childhood. He says, okay, I'll come with you. He, he will say that in his own language, but you won't understand it. He'll probably nod his head or something. And then you come to the airport. How are you going to convince them that this is your child? You're not going to get him through. You're going to get caught. But if it was, if it... If it was a situation where you couldn't get caught, I would. Because I get 9 mil. And I get to make a child's life happy. Just answer the question. <laughs> yes, but I'm explaining it. You have to explain it. You can't just say, would you kidnap a child in a third world country and raise it as your own? Yes, I would. You have to go into detail. You have to know what you're getting yourself into. So I would. If it was a different situation, what would you say? No. You wouldn't? Okay. Well, 41% said they would. So 59% agree with you. They wouldn't. Okay, so you want so you've just missed out on nine mil. Shame. Ooh. Okay. This is a different question. Okay. For five million pound, yeah. Would you rather never go outdoors for three years, so you can never go outside for three years, or never go indoors for a year, or you can tell the walrus to keep his money. So you can, so you'd have to stay indoors for three years, or stay outdoors for one year, or you can tell him to keep his money. Check it out. Really? I would never go outdoors for three years. Yeah. That, no, I'd never go outdoors for three years. Oh. That might shock a few people, but I wouldn't. I could um, happily live the rest of my life in my... In here anyway, yeah, so. I could happily live out my life in this bedroom, in this house. And I'd get five mil. Imagine all the shit I'd be able to buy. I could deck my room out. I'm going for that. Okay, 48% say they'd never go outdoors for three years. 29% say they'd never go indoors for a year. And 23% said, um, keep your money. That's actually quite interesting. Right, so we'll do a few more questions and then we will end the video. But this question is for £40 million, right? Mm -hmm. Would you rather have truly evil parents, have truly evil children, or tell the walrus to keep his money? Parents. So you'd rather have truly evil parents? Mm -hmm. I'd actually agree with you on that. Oh shit, shots fired mate. Oh my god, you best hope you don't watch this. <laughs> oh, oh mate! I didn't no, know. No fucking him. shots, mate. Not him. Who do you mean then? <laughs> well mum. Mum's not evil. Now I feel bad for assuming who you would <laughs> who you weren't assuming. Oh shit. I'm keep I don't care, I'm keeping that in the video. Um I would actually agree with you on that. I'd rather have truly evil parents. Because what you can do is, if your parents are so evil, you have 40 mil. You can move out and get your own place. Whereas if you've got evil children and you've got 40 mil, you can't abandon your children. And I'm not going to pass up 40 mil by telling the walrus to keep his money. So I'm going to agree with you on that one. Smart thinking. 36% said they'd rather have truly evil parents. 28% said they'd rather have truly evil children, and 36% said, um, keep your money. Okay? <laughs> you got to get over this, okay? Right, biggest amount we've had. 50 million. Yeah? Yeah. Would you rather get abducted by aliens for one night, be possessed by a demon for three days, or tell the walrus to keep his money? Aliens. That is the smartest choice you've ever made. You you... Day and you no, yeah, exactly. If you get abducted by aliens, as soon as they finish with you, they bring you back down to Earth and you don't remember a thing. If anything, it was like a dream. So you have no recollection of what happened that night and you get 50 mil. This is literally it's the easiest answer. I don't fancy being possessed by a demon for three days. Have you ever seen demon films where they get possessed and they're like doing some athletic shit with their backs and that is creepy you probably die as well so you'd lose the 50 mil anyway so 67% said they would rather get abducted by aliens 
That's literally the easiest question we've had. In my opinion, anyway, because it makes logical sense. I don't know about you, but... Right, so this is going to be the last question, and it's for £25,000. Okay? Would you make out with the last person you spoke to? No. Okay, then. I think we all know the answer to that question, don't we? Yeah? No. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Because I spoke to you last. And I spoke to you. And I'm not going to be making out with my sister. Because that is just freaky. Okay? Unless I, unless I call a friend right now and talk to them. But that's not... Okay, so we know the answer, okay? So we're just gonna... We're just gonna press no on that. 75% said no. So we all know who they've been speaking to. Either their sisters, their brothers, their mums or their dads. Or their grandparents. <laughs> Let's not even go there, okay? Wow. What a question to end the video on. Jesus. Well, I do hope you enjoyed it as much as we both did. And if you want to see me do more videos with my sister, then let me know by leaving a like on the video and a comment down below. And if you want to see more of my content, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye. Right, so before the video actually ends, my sister literally just reminded me that the same video we did last year, we ended on the exact same question. That's mad! I didn't even realise until I literally stopped recording and she was like, you know the last video we did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had the exact same question. No way! That's crazy! I didn't even mean for that to happen. That's mad. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye. Bye.